All right, all right. Black power, black power is the truth hour with General Sarah soon said he kicked back. Get your mind ready for some information that's guaranteed to be heavy. It's going down this Saturday. That's right, the holy mother of civilization presentation by none other than General Sarah soon said he himself. You should have yourself in the place. Mama, grandmama, auntie, your daughter, you should because it's going to be all powerful in dealing with the historical documentation like no other rare information that it ain't even being taught to the people. You see what I'm saying? And so most definitely have yourself in the house. Click the link in the video description, in the chat, be in front row and center, and don't hesitate to elevate. That's right. Uh, we are now excited and delighted to be accepting members to the Sarah Soon Seti YouTube page. You should do that because of all the perks that you're going to get when you when you become a member. Of course, you know, if you're into African culture, then, you know, can't nobody drop them like the general. You see what I'm saying? I can make sure you get what you need. You understand? I make sure you get the exclusivity and the quality and the high level of, of performance. You see what I'm saying? That you need from a master. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to give it to you. So you make sure you become a, a member. The, you click the link and you will get an introduction video going over the membership, the levels of membership. And choose. Become a member. If not, you're still welcome to come on over here and get the, I'm going to keep you in civilization. I'm not going to let the black people fall out of civilization. Many of them are already there, but most of them, they all they need, they, they tinkering on the edge. And so if I don't go come out here and, and, and spit the fire, you know, the you know, civilization will come crashing in. And so I ain't going to let civilization do that. So I still teach for the people. But, you know, if you want, uh, uh, you know, it's levels. And if you want to go up a level and you want access to a greater level of information, then come on, family. Become a member. That's right. Ring the alarm. Let me get up here. Why I don't have that in there? You see? That's the fly. And when you go over to TicketLeap.com, you'll see that we are GeneralSetty.TicketLeap.com. You already see, we got some fire already sitting in there waiting on you now. We already got, we still got some fire. The sacred black art of alchemy, the divinity of blackness codified in language. That's Sunday, May 28th. This, we got the fire already in there. So just get on though, because General said he keep it leaping on ticket leap now. We keep it leaping on ticket leap. Ring the alarm, kingsetty.com, online marketplace. That's right. Official General Sarah Rasun said he DVD lectures, the T-shirts, the new joints we got out there. When you get over there, go to the new tab. You'll see all, we got about 30 new shirts up there for the kings and queens. We got African and comedic jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Holistic tonics and remedies and home decor accessories for every room in the house. KingSeti.com. General said, re pull the fire alarm. General SETI.com. SETI University class is now in session. Over 1,000 videos on African history, heritage, spirituality, nation building, advanced African academics, developing the black nation one lesson at a time. The complete General Sara Soon SETI website. And you see right here just one subject. The Black Woman is God video library and catalog, mother of civilization, showing you that in it, it's possibly 50, 60 uh, uh, videos under each subject. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, just know that. You see, it's not just one video. No, it's, it's, it's a library. You see a catalog. So get on over there and check it out. Uh, General SETI dot com said university said he keep it popping on patreon bpc making noise we never come exclusive live stream too hot for youtube or so exclusive just like this one champelion in the false teachings of the medunata classes you know 12 classes one per week starting next uh this week you see what i'm saying so you should get on over there 
and get into that class. That's the $15 and up class, and we have to do that because you got to appreciate this information. I did a lot of goddamn research to, you know, to crack that code. So, you know, you just can't come tiptoeing. You got to be prepared, and you got to be a certain level to appreciate that. I also dropped yesterday the Cleopatra Netflix controversy exposed where I went in so hard. You see what I'm saying? Cracking their skull open with the truth. And so get on over there. Get that material. Make sure you subscribe to all my YouTube channels. King Seti, General Seti, Sarah Suit Seti. Rock that notification bell. Get a video or thumbs up. Like it because you love it. Share it with your family and friends. And comment, comment, comment. Just don't say nothing stupid. Because I will ban your ass. You'll be out of there, man. You would be out of there. You see? Now, nah. what are we talking about? What are we talking about? What did the father of the five percenters, Clarence 13X, say about Malcolm X, Malcolm X's mistakes before his murder? Now, when I heard this, now you know. Certain, you know, it, 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 you know, family. No, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. You see what I'm saying? You know, I'm coming. You know, when it come time when you get to talking about certain, you know, other family. You know, Malcolm, Doctor Ben, Doctor Clark, Khalid. You see, you ain't getting away with that with General Seti. You see what I'm saying? You just ain't going, it just ain't going to fly. I don't give a goddamn whether you like it or not. Y'all know how I get down. You feel me? And so, you know, when I, when I, when I saw this, I say, oh yeah. I say, you niggas love, you know, and, and what I want to say, I don't think, you know, this is what somebody said. Clan 13X said, you see? And so I don't know the individual, but whoever the individual is, he, he, he appears to or assumes to be somebody close to Clans 13X. And so I don't want nobody to uh think that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come on here and you no, know, I'm gonna look at the information that's being given. And I'm going to give my take on it because you niggas always want to come out after, you know, somebody is, 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 is passed on into the ancestral realm and run all the, and bump your gums. You see what I'm saying? But God damn it, didn't try to bring it to Malcolm when he was here. And then you said you did, but you whispering. Don't nobody know you niggas. No, nobody know you nigga. You see? And just gonna say it like that. Don't nobody know you, nigga. And so you know, you a lot of you niggas, even to this day, still hate on Malcolm X because he was far superior in in all of that shit. And in in and was elevating out of that on a platform that you know what I'm saying, far more extensive than anything you niggas has ever talked about. And I'm gonna just say it like that. You see, and I don't, I don't hold in, in, in a brain the mathematics, nigga. <laughs> and bring them. You add them up right in front of your goddamn ass and subtract some, too. That's how I do it. You see, let's, let's, let, me, let me get off into this shit, man. Here it is. I read this, and it's, it's called the uh, Mogul Domination. Now, this is, I, 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 I'm just, you know, finding this online, you know, uh, magazine. You know, you know what I'm saying? And so I, I just figure, you know, and so I seen this. It says, and it, it's some more, uh, you know, nation of Islam oriented, even though they got other, you know, uh, you know, national world news and this, that, and the third. I seen this and I say, okay. Okay, they got, you know, this, like, uh, you know, some nation of Islam. And so this was written by a writer, Ann Brown, okay? 
now they, and now I'm we're gonna go over this and shit because I like you know I'm not letting nobody just disrespect Malcolm X. That just ain't gonna happen. Malcolm X was assassinated on February uh, 21, 1965. Before his death, there was tensions in in, in the streets uh, uh, of New York involving the Nation of Islam, former NOI member Malcolm X, and the various offshoots of the NOI, such as Clarence uh, 13 X's 5% Nation. Malcolm left the Nation of Islam in March 1964. Okay, Malcolm X was gunned down on stage by three men as he prepared to speak at New York's Autobahn Ballroom in Harlem. He was 39. Okay, uh... I don't want, you know, they, you know they're getting off into the, you know, you know, him... The 5% Nation of Gods and Herbs was founded by former Nation of Islam member Clarence 13X back in 1964. There have been different reports as to why Clarence 13X left the NOI, during which time he worshipped at the same temple, number seven, where Malcolm X preached. Some say Clarence 13X left because he was caught gambling. Others say he did not agree with the uh, NOI's ban on gambling, drugs, and alcohol. Okay, well, shit, yeah, you know, we, uh, you know, and, uh, and, and so that's what people say. Others say, you see, so I don't want to, you know, just, you know, you know, I don't want to, uh, you know, go off of what nobody else say. Now, if they come together as a nation and they agree that's what went on, then that's something different. You see, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't vibe off of what another motherfucker say. You see what I'm saying? So I'm, you know, I'm just reading because obviously, who, whoever the Ann Brown is, she got it from somebody, and so we are gonna find out. Clans 13x, the father of the five percent, had lots to say about Malcolm x's mistakes before his assassination yeah and one of them was fucking with some 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 uh uh backstabbing ass niggas you see and that was the biggest damn mistake fucking with some backstabbing ass niggas here are five things to know now this is what it said now you know and and, and you know come on man you know what I'm saying? It, 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 you know, and, and, and you and y'all motherfuckers are talking about, you know, you supposed to be peace and that's all you and you motherfuckers slandering and shit, bringing up unnecessary beef and shit. And you know what I'm saying? This shit whack, nigga. You niggas whack. If this the shit y'all niggas putting out, this all y'all could put out. For, you know, not a fan of my, for the book, The Name of Allah. A history uh, uh, of Clans 13X and the Five Percenters, written in 2009 by Waqil Allah, a member of the NOI. He interviewed people involved in the Five Percent Nation, such as Raz Rasul, uh, he what Hebaka, okay, Razu Hebaka, or uh, Rasul. You see, was one of the elders of the Five Percent Nation, okay. Her backer. And maybe it's her backer. I'm calling her Hebeka. Her backer. Okay. And according to her backer, uh, thir Clans 13X, also known as a law, had talked about Malcolm X, although the two were not close. Okay. So he's one of the elders. Okay, he's one of the elders. Okay. Okay. Rebecca remember uh uh, uh Allah discussing Malcolm X. I don't know he didn't I know he didn't like Malcolm that tough. They wasn't that great of friends. Okay. Rebecca share. Okay. Clans 13X. Mal uh, Malcolm X was not moving like a man from the streets. Okay, I mean, man, listen here, nigga. Your conversation is cheap, nigga. 
your conversation this ain't no man you know yeah malcolm come up out the street nigga we trying to come up out the goddamn streets you know what i'm saying i don't even see how the fuck y'all niggas could and, uh, and and i'm just i mean this is the shit that he's saying it says according to and that's why i don't want to you know what i'm saying because this shit right here trivial you know what i'm saying this some old you know snake in the grass shit like you know because that's all we see you know you know, years later, niggas is still hating on Malcolm X. They look at, you know, y'all niggas don't look for information that can bring unity. You see what I'm saying? You niggas don't look for no fucking information to bring. You niggas still slithering on your motherfucking bellies. And, and all you do is bring up more, you understand what I'm saying? You know, negative, divisive fucking information. You see what I'm saying? I'm a, But I'm going to cut into this shit. You know, talking about Mal and see, that's why I see the thing is that just like Dr. John Henry Clark said. See, these niggas ain't nothing but you know, uh uh, you know, corner store hustling niggas. You see, corner store hustling ass niggas, and they know Malcolm is, is, is you know, what I saw was a righteous man, you see. And that, you know, Malcolm wasn't playing that shit. He wasn't drinking. He wasn't smoking. He wasn't doing none of that bullshit. You see what I'm saying? And they know if Elijah Muhammad would have died and Malcolm being the, the natural uh, uh, successor of Elijah Muhammad, then a lot of them niggas would have been up out of there. You understand what I'm saying? Malcolm wasn't going for that shit. So that's why a lot of them didn't like Malcolm. You understand he didn't move like no he didn't move like a man from the streets he was from the street but he didn't move like a man from the streets you niggas move like men from the street niggas selling dope and shit and all in the goddamn you know why y'all you know supposed to be in the nation of islam and shit you understand doing all the shit y'all was doing before y'all even got in the motherfucker you understand what i'm saying that's that was really what the problem you niggas had you know what I'm saying? That's really what the, and, and so when you trying to build a nation on righteousness, I mean, that right there, like, I mean, do y'all hear what the hell is being taught? The black man is God, right? That's what we, that's what we taught. That he should be, you know, aspire to be righteous. And, and Okay, then. So, you know, you know, you moving, yeah, you, you still, you know, you keep some of the politics from the street but nigga you leaving that shit behind at the same damn time you feel me and so that shit don't make no sense malcolm was not moving like a man from the street that sound like a nigga from the street some shit that a nigga in the street would say you still in the street nigga you still in the street according to Rebecca. clans 13 act said malcolm was making some some mistakes that a man with street sense don't make. Now, wait a minute. You cannot have a man with that kind of people following him. As dangerous as these people are, you cannot just get up and say what you want to say. See, this is a coward, nigga. You see, you don't have the, the courage. I mean, nigga, you, you, you know, that those that try, you know, what they say, those that, you know, seek to keep their life will lose their goddamn life. Don't make no goddamn difference, nigga. You saw him, you know, if Malcolm hadn't stood on his square and said the shit that he said when he said it, we would not even be where we is today. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, some of us, you know, have to say the, the things that need to be said when nobody else going to say them. You see what I'm saying? And so he may, you know, and though, you know, in the time that, you know, a lot of other people would say, you know, that's a mistake. You understand what I'm saying? That's a mistake. But you, you wasn't in his shoes. You see, you wasn't in his shoes. And I, 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 I don't see Malcolm, because Malcolm, see, we seeing what, you know, really took place. Malcolm built the nation of Islam. Okay? I don't care what nobody say. He the one that put the, he, wanted, he the one that went out in through the, through the nation establishing them damn uh, temples all over the United States. You see what I'm saying? 
he the one that put the work in and put in in, in, in uh you know established the uh Muhammad speaks the newspaper and all them things. You see what I'm saying? No, he was making nationalistic moves. You see what I'm saying? Malcolm was in Africa gaining respect amongst the leaders of Africa and something that no other, uh, you know, no other uh, member of the nation of Islam was able to do. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Malcolm X was, was, was rubbing elbows with the revolutionary leaders. He wasn't over there with Gaddafi and shit and goddamn Arabs and shit. Yeah, he, but he was over there with, with Patrice Lumumba and all, you know, and, and, and you know, and some of the other ones that was over there, you know, and so that's the thing. And so to shortchange Malcolm and say he wasn't moving as if, I mean, this man is on, you know, on a higher plane, you see? And, 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 and you know, and, and so Habakkuk, you see, you a little nigga. I said it, you a little nigga hating, hating on Malcolm, you see? Cause you couldn't, you know what I'm saying? And then you sitting out here talking about Malcolm was not moving. And let, let me see what happened. Let's see what, let's see. And see, I don't want to do this, but I, I just want to, you know, I, I, I got to see, I got to see this for myself. Let me see some things. Let me read some things. Let me read some things. And I'm, you know, and, 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 and all of this is alleged. You understand? Because I don't know, but I've heard it before. You see, I've heard it before. I've heard it before. This it is. Clans 13X referred to his new movement as the five percenters, referring, referencing an NOI teaching that only five percent of the population knew and promoted the truth about God. One way that he distinguished his group from his previous faith was by reject, rejecting dress codes or strict behavioral guidelines. He allowed the uh, uh, consumption of alcohol and at time the use of illegal drugs that's alleged i didn't you know i'm i'm reading this you see you ain't gonna do that in in no nation of islam ran by malcolm x you ain't gonna do that you ain't gonna do that that's just not what you gonna do nigga so you probably, and you know, I don't know if the nigga got a habit. I'm talking about Habakkuk. You know, I don't know if nigga got a habit and he, he, he wasn't, you know, he wasn't invited to, you know, be down with, you know, or he just wanted to, you know, some of them niggas is, ain't going to elevate no higher. They ain't going to elevate no higher than the streets. And so that's where they're going to stay. That's where they ass going to stay. And anything that elevate above them, they're going to, you know what I'm saying? Like a snake in the grass going to spit fire whenever they and try to belittle someone who has elevated past their, you know, their abilities. You understand what I'm saying? To do any better for themselves. And so a motherfucker, you know, you know what I'm saying? And so that's that's what it is. It says Clarence 13X was shot by an unknown assailant in 1964, but have survived the attack. After uh, after an incident several months later, in which he and his followers vandalized stores and fought police, he was arrested and placed in psych psychiatric care. He was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. I don't know. I don't know. But it ain't looking good. I know motherfuckers can hate. They can talk all the fuck what they want. Yeah. You go, but you're gonna talk about Malcolm. You're gonna, you know, you yeah, supreme mathematics. It, it, what it, is is hating on a, 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 an ancestor? Is it hating on an ancestor? A part of them mathematics? Where that add up? You see what I'm saying? Motherfuckers say Malcolm not moving. Like yeah, what's today's mathematics? Don't hate on another man. 
You understand what I'm saying? Don't 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 hate on your own brother and, and hate on your own sister. That's today's mathematics. You can't add that up. Ain't nothing to add. You can't add that up. Ain't nothing to add. You see what I'm saying? Add that up. You see? Yeah. Okay, then. If you got the information, why all this other information in there? They saying the man's name is Habakkuk. I, I didn't say, I said alleged. You see what I'm saying? When you when, when you got people putting out shit out of box, you supposed to, you know, you ain't supposed to let no other uh, groups that don't, you ain't, uh, 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 you know, validate, put information out. Now, that information is on, uh, and like I said, alleged. Yeah, but I know he was shot. You know what? I'm not arguing about what he was arrested. For. I'm reading it. Now, if y'all let somebody put some information out on, and, and like I said, alleged. I didn't say because I'm not like Habakkuk. I don't read shit for face value and just say, oh, in a in attack a man. You didn't hear. I said alleged. I'm not like you. I'm not like Habakkuk. I'm not like Habakkuk, who comes, uh, 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 you know, uh, 40 years, 50 years later, backbiting. You see, I'm not you. That's today's mathematics. Standing on my goddamn square and speaking what I know, not what I heard. Okay? That's the goddamn... Uh, Okay, well, again, I said alleged. I, I said alleged. And and whatever, whoever put it out in uh the moguldom, just put that out. That's fresh. Now, whatever, I don't know when they quoted the brother. You understand what I'm saying? Whoever in that online magazine, they got an agenda to push because Cause to my understanding, I didn't, I didn't know that. I thought in my mind, I thought Clarence X, 13 X and Malcolm X was cool. I didn't, I didn't have no, no other understanding. Maybe I'm wrong. The brother say E. Becker is a credible source. No, they ain't, they ain't dis, you know, I'll let you know, they, they, I, 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 you know, ain't nobody being disrespectful, I don't think. No, they ain't being, they just, they dropping, they dropping, they, you know, so I let them go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he, he's saying Ebeka is, is a credible source, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, what, what, what I see is, what I see is, yeah, yeah. Don't hate on your own brother. I don't want nobody to try to, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 and, and, and try to, you know, slick talk me. You see what I'm saying? It's just, you know, when you see, you know, I hear everybody always talking about unity, unity, unity. And here, I mean, 30 years, 50 years later, we still got this bullshit going on. You see? And it, it, even if, Ebacco is a credible source. What the fuck is your goal, nigga? What the fuck is your goal? You see what I'm saying? What is your goal? If we still talking about, and he's sitting up in here talking about, he could see that the, the B between Malcolm X, this is what I'm reading now. This is alleged. You see, the beef that was going on between Malcolm X and the nation of Islam is tearing everything up. Everybody's in involved. And then you come and put this shit out expecting to do what nigga what the fuck is you expecting to do with this but bring more you know understand what i'm saying you know this shit is ridiculous you see what i'm saying and and, and and for real for real you understand what i'm saying you know we know what the fuck going we ain't stupid you know we know what happened to malcolm x so you know the man then you know he didn't pay the ultimate price you see what I'm saying? The ultimate price. You see what I'm saying? For his people, whether, whether motherfuckers didn't like how he moved or not. You understand what I'm saying? He paid the ultimate price for his people. What the fuck is you niggas doing? Who's spitting on him? 
Now, I ain't talking about nobody personally. You see what I'm saying? So, if, 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 you know, still today, you understand niggas cannot heal that divide. You see, still. Motherfuckers, you know, and, and that's why I don't, I don't listen to all that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 that, you know, like you counting and shit. That shit don't mean nothing to me, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, nigga, it, you know, your frequency, nigga, all that. You know, niggas count with their, you know, talk with their fingers and, you know, move their lips and shit ain't coming out. I don't get, I don't let no nigga play me like that. You understand what I'm saying? I don't, I don't let niggas see when niggas start to, you know, they, when they lose the reality of the conversation, then they go into another realm thinking that they being slick. You understand? Oh, let me, you know, nigga, you ain't got to call me shit. You know, I know how to be real with my brother. You understand what I'm saying? And my sisters, I ain't got to be no fake nigga. You understand what I'm saying? I don't have to be no, you know, you know, to be no fake nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's rule number one. That shit don't add up to me. You see? And so I just felt that, you know, that the, the fucking, the editorial, editorial was garbage. You see what I'm saying? To even, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, in my mind, I thought that uh, in my mind, now I don't know what made me, because I thought I heard people say that Malcolm and, 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 and Father Allah was cool. I say, yeah, okay. That that's that's right. Okay. And, and so I it, uh, based on that, this is no disrespect to Father Allah, because I have, you know, I have respect for Father Allah. You see what I'm saying? And you know, but you know, you know, people coming out and and, and like I said, I never heard no shit like that. That day, you know what I'm saying? I thought they was cool. You understand what I'm saying? I thought the fact that, you know, he was in the mosque with Malcolm, you know, and Malcolm taught there that that was one of the reasons that was the way I got it. I might have got it wrong. I might have got it wrong. That was one of the reasons, you know, why he left. You know, that's what I thought. You understand what I'm saying? Because they was going in a different direction. You see what I'm saying? And, and and another thing, the fact that he said that, you know, that, you know, uh, Master for, uh, Fraud Muhammad, excuse me, Farah Muhammad wasn't God. You understand that the black man was God. I, that was that was in my, you know, that's in my frequency. So I rode, that's something I ride with. So I ain't got no but. You know what? Let me tell you something. The niggas that speak for you after you gone ain't necessarily uh 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 been you know would have been a, re a true representative. You see what I'm saying in life of the individual. You see what I'm saying. You always get motherfuckers talking after a man or a woman is gone. You see what I'm saying, and, and you ain't saying shit to what they really believe. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's like certain, if you're a leader, and I'm going to just tell you this, you know, you know, if you're a leader, he was Malcolm's personal security. Who was that? Yeah, well, I, that's what I thought. I never thought that he was, I never thought that Clarence would even, I say, where, where, why would he say that? I thought he was cool. You see what I'm saying? So that, like I say, I don't, you know, don't get, don't, don't get up here and thought, don't think I'm about to, you know, I don't, I didn't, I would never, you know, cause people think, oh, he about to say, I'm not about to say nothing to that garbage, you know, whether he knew or not, you know what I'm saying? And I don't believe it. Even if he, cause niggas say anything to get some goddamn, some, some merit today. You understand what I'm saying? They'll say anything out their goddamn mouth. But that's some shit that don't even need to be said. You understand, sir? You if you were if you were in a in a position, you see what I'm saying? And you, you know, in this shit, 50, 60 years old, and you see people just trying to bridge these, you know, these, you know, uh, you know, the hurt, you see, you know, and the, you know, the, you know, the the division and shit. You don't bring no shit out like that. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, and so metaphysical with Islam. Yeah, he, it was some metaphysical in there. Yes, it was. You see what I'm saying? It was some metaphysical in there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You see what I'm saying? And ain't no, you know, and don't get me to say ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You see? And so the the thing is, I just think that the brother, Ebaka, you see what I'm saying? That, you know, and I don't know where this person got is they just went into the book and brought up something that was what was old, or they just asked the brother just recently about this situation. You know what I'm saying? I just think it, it you know, it's some fake shit. You understand? Y'all leave, you know, y'all let Ma Malcolm rest in peace. You see what I'm saying? Let Khalid Muhammad and other motherfucker talking about Khalid Muhammad. Let, let, uh, and let Father Allah rest in peace. If you ain't saying nothing positive about the information that these brothers is teaching, shut your motherfucking mouth. Shut up. Shut up. Bring the positivity and greatness of the leaders. Don't be, you know, you know, swiveling on your belly, crawling. You understand? Looking for any love. You understand? Division. That's why, that's why I say, you know what? That that's really was the mission of this. Now, people probably thought I was going to come on. I wouldn't dare come on here following another nigga who, you know what I'm saying, weakness to try to bridge a gap between his family. You understand what I'm saying? Follow him and do the same weak shit that he doing. No way. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, hopefully he get my goddamn message and like, yeah, that shit sound, it, it just didn't even sound right. Like he didn't move like a man in the street. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I say, well, shit. I mean, they was all in the damn street. But what, what he supposed to do? You understand? He trying to develop a nation. And so that's going to require people level the fuck up. You see what I'm saying? That's what's wrong with our people. They still in the damn streets. You understand what I'm saying? Looking for a nation. You see, still in the streets looking for a nation. You see? And so, family, rise, rise, rise. You see? Rise at the end of the fucking day. Rise. And let your frequency rise and the things that come out of your mouth and the things that you entertain. You understand? Let the frequency of all that rise. Stay off of, you know, the lower level crawling on your belly because all that shit do is bring more division and more hurt and more, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the breaking of the family. You see what I'm saying? At a time when we should be trying to unify. This is the general Sarah soon said he said, Hey, we got one more left for the night. I know everybody crawl. I don't, I don't have, I don't hate. <laughs> I know motherfucker crawl in. What this nigga said he about to say. No, I don't hate. You see, I don't do that. You see what I'm saying? And so if you came over here to thinking I was gonna say something bad about Father Allah, you came to the wrong goddamn presentation, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Because I still see the greatness in both of them black brothers right there. You understand what I'm saying? And I know combined in their teachings and in their greatness, you got, a, you got a hell of a chance. You understand what I'm saying? To get into the next level. I know that for a fact. So why don't, why don't y'all do that? Why don't y'all intertwine the teachings and rise? This is the general saying, hey, arm yourself with knowledge. Bang on that wicked ass beast daily liberation through african education and confrontation black power